Hi, my name is Andrew Coster and I'm with Pit Boss. Today I'm here to show you how to replace an igniter in your Pit Boss wood pellet grill. Uh, today we're going to be using a 700 FB, but this process can be used across all Pit Boss models with just slight modification. In order to do this, it is important to first remove your grill grates and your flame broiler from the inside of the unit by simply sliding them out. This will give us access to the fire pot and give us the tools that we need to get the igniter replaced. Once the grill grates and flame broiler has been removed, to remove the fire pot, you will remove four Phillips head screws. Once those screws have been removed, you can then turn the fire pot about a quarter turn clockwise or counterclockwise and then give it a slight pull up. Once the fire pot has been removed from the burn tube, we can then remove the set screw holding your igniter in place. Loosen the set screw counterclockwise and then remove the igniter. The igniter can then be fed back through the burn tube. From there, we will want to remove the bottom plate on the hopper side by removing six Phillip head screws. Once the bottom plate has been removed, we will want to clip the three zip ties holding your wires. After those zip ties have been clipped, you can actually pull the igniter wires back through the burn tube into the hopper. The igniter will come out and once it has been removed, you can disconnect it from the purple and white wires. From there, everything can be reinstalled and reversed. You will use the igniter to guide itself through the hole that you removed it from. You will connect the purple and white wires to the igniter. And you will replace the bottom plate. From the inside of the grill, the igniter will be inside the burn tube. You can then pull it out and actually insert it into the fire pot. You will only want to leave about one quarter to one half inch of the igniter exposed inside your fire pot. Once in place, you can tighten the set screw to hold your igniter. From there, you will simply reinsert the fire pot, turn it back into its original position, and insert the four Phillips head screws.